welcome friends we're talking about god's love and we'll continue talking about it today i want to uh, look at the aspect of god's love being unconditional towards us uh, let's read this passage from ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 and 5 it says but god who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ it says by grace you have been saved so because of god's great love for us while we were lost in our trespasses you know this shows us that god has chosen to love us even when we did not deserve his love so why is it that god extends his love this passage clearly says because of his great love with which he loved us right and god is rich in mercy god because of his nature of mercy and love chooses even to love those who do not deserve it and when we were far away from christ when we did not accept him uh, in our lives when we did not recognize our sin and know our need for a savior you know, that is when we were away in the world and we did not deserve god's love but now as god's children you know those of us who uh, are saved in the lord jesus christ we have received this love this great love that god has extended towards us and even now you know because of grace scriptures tell us that you know we continue to be in that place of being justified and we've been made capable of receiving god's love for us you know it's not by our own works right the book of romans so clearly talks about it it's not because of our own works but because of the grace of god you know and that's the way in which god loves us god displays his agape love towards us and this word agape uh, it it refers to god's unconditional love you know it's a love which does not depend on the other person's response but continues to love despite the other person being unloved you know the greatest demonstration of this kind of agape love that uh, god did for us was on the cross of calvary what could be a greater gesture of unconditional love than one laying down their own life and in this case the lord jesus you know dying a very brutal death on the cross and the question is for whom was it for people who had accomplished much was it for very holy people was it for the righteous people no but the word of god says that christ jesus died for sinners and so god demonstrated his unconditional love through this wonderful gesture on the cross while jesus died for the sinners and now as the children of god no 1 john chapter 3 uh, verse 1 it says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of god what an amazing love god has extended to us that now we are the children of god recipients of all his blessings and the inheritance which he has for us now let's uh, take this all in and let the love of god become a a reality that we experience let's pray together heavenly father we thank you god for this incredible love that lord no words can describe lord we pray by the spirit of god that lord you will give us that knowledge that each of us lord we can receive uh, this god kind of love and walk in it in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.